Hello everyone. Now we already know about the chemical equation which represents the reactants as well as products symbolically. So let us learn about balanced and unbalanced equation. Here we have a chemical equation which represents burning of magnesium ribbon which leads to giving out a dazzling white light and forming a white powder. Magnesium plus oxygen gives magnesium oxide that is Mg plus O2 gives MgO. Now let us count the number of atoms of each element before and after the reaction. Are the numbers of atoms of each element same on the both sides that is on the LHS and the RHS? Let's take LHS first. Here we see magnesium, one atom, oxygen, two atoms. On the right hand side we have magnesium, one atom and oxygen, one atom. So we see the number of atoms are not same on the LHS and RHS. If you remember, according to law of conservation of mass, mass can neither be created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction. This means the total mass of elements present in the products should be equal to the total mass of the elements present in the reactants. In simple words, it means the number of atoms of each element remains the same before and after reaction. You know, a chemical equation where the total number of atoms of elements are not same on the both sides is called an unbalanced chemical equation or skeletal chemical equation. So, Mg plus O2 gives MgO is a skeletal chemical equation or unbalanced chemical equation for burning of magnesium in air. Now you may wonder how to get a balanced chemical equation. Here the number of oxygen atoms are not same on the LHS and the RHS. On the left hand side number of oxygen atoms is equal to 2 while on RHS it is 1. So let us make it equal by writing 2 on the RHS. So now on the RHS there are two atoms of oxygen. So the oxygen atoms are balanced on both the sides. But if we see now we have two atoms of magnesium on RHS. So the number of atoms of magnesium are not balanced. Only one atom of magnesium on LHS while it's two on RHS. So let's write two on the LHS for magnesium. Now if you see RHS and LHS are equal when we count the number of atoms of each element. Magnesium 2-2 two, two atoms each and oxygen 2-2 two, two atoms each both on LHS and RHS. So we say it's a balanced equation. So this is a balanced equation for the burning of magnesium in the air and using the trial and error method we are able to balance the given chemical equation. 2mg plus O2 is equal to 2mgO. We can say two atoms of magnesium reacts with two atoms of oxygen and forms magnesium oxide it's two molecules of magnesium oxide, each molecule having one atom of magnesium and one atom of oxygen. You may wonder, can physical states of chemicals be shown in a chemical reaction? Yes, it is very much possible. We can write the physical states of reactants as well as products such as whether it is solid, liquid, gas, or aqueous form that is it is made by adding water as a solvent and this can be shown by writing S for solid, 
G for gas, L for liquid and AQ for aqueous form besides the chemicals in brackets. So here we see magnesium is a solid, oxygen is a gas and the product formed magnesium oxide is solid as we got a white powder as the product. Also remember a complete chemical equation represents the reactants, products and their physical states symbolically. That was all for today. Bye-bye.